Come stop for me, this is Avor Joseph and welcome to News I Deem Worthy Recap Weekly Edition number 3. What is up news people? What is up? Are you all ready for some new stuff? How about some news smoothie? Let's news and news it all up like a big news goose deuce. The episode starts from the headlines for the Sunday 11th of June 2023 to Saturday 17th of June 2023. So get ready for the news and news stuff. These are the news headlines for Sunday 11th of June 2023. Not much to be honest, it's just rain ravaging through the archipelago causing flash floods in everywhere along with some mountains blasting. New tow height in NLEX and SpaceX launched Maya 5 and Maya 6 from our very own. Rain and stuff, volcano and stuff. Rain and stuff caused flash floods in Manila. Not that much to talk about. It's again about Bagyong Chedeng who in Monday got out of the Philippines area of responsibility. New toll hike in NLEX. New toll hikes in NLEX has been planned and implemented in June 15, 2023. According to the Toll Regulatory Board, only half of the hike will be implemented on the 15th while the rest would be implemented in 2024. With class 1 vehicles upping 7 pesos, class 2 or buses at 17 pesos, and class 3 or trucks at 19 pesos in the open system of Balintawa, Caloocan, and Mindanao Avenue to Marilao, Bulacan. While new toll fees in closed systems from the north of Marilao to Santa Ines, Mabalacat City, upping class 1 toll 26 pesos, class 2s with 65 pesos, and class 3 upping at 77 pesos. In total, the end to end route from Metro Manila to Santa Ines Mabalacat City has class 1 vehicles up 33 pesos to a new fee of 332 pesos. Class 2 vehicles at up to 81 pesos to a new fee of 829 pesos. And class 3 vehicles up 98 pesos to a new fee of 995 pesos. It's inflationary. That's what they say. SpaceX launched Maya 5 and Maya 6 from our very own. SpaceX launched Maya 5 and Maya 6 into orbit to the International Space Station on the 5th of June 2023. These cuboid satellites are made by our very own UP Diliman students and DOST. These are the news headlines for Monday 12th of June 2023 and happy 125th Independence Day Philippines. 125th Independence Day celebrated, former Senator, Congressman, and AFP Chief Rodolfo Biazon died at 88, and VP Sara Duterte in Brunei. 125th Independence Day celebrated. The country celebrated the 125th Independence Day of the Philippines from the Imperial Spanish. We've gone so far from the roots of our revolutionary fervor, and to think it all started from a series of sacrifices is unsurprising. The Philippines is a free nation as it stands, but many of our liberties and sovereignty assertions are at risk of escaping in our hands or taken, an offense to the people, the nation. We have the duty to keep this gift of us for the future generations of thinkers, workers, and heroes. We are the nation. The nation's people is the name of the nation we currently fly for. No matter what nation we may want to call ourselves, the people is the essence of that name because the people is the nation. And it is imperative to assert our rights as a sovereign nation against any attempts to undermine our autonomy. They shall be met with a great deal of force only the people of our nation can deliver. Former Senator, Congressman, and AFP Chief Rodolfo Biazon died at 88. The former Senator and AFP Chief Rodolfo Biazon died at the age of 88. The nation mourned the death of the former Senator Rodolfo Biazon, a veteran who had served the Philippines for 30 years. His stint in the politics, according to his peers, has done a great deal to the promotion of welfare and well-being of our veterans, among other things. He was there when the EDSA People Power Revolution was taken in place along with a series of coup d'etat attempts the new republic faced. VP Sara Duterte in Brunei. Our Vice President and Department of Education Secretary Sara Duterte met up with Brunei Darussalam Crown Prince Al Mutadi Bilya, pronouncing that wrong, along with their attendance the meeting with the Southeast Asian Minister of Education Organization Council. These are the news headlines for Tuesday 13th of June 2023. Philippine government plans to exacerbate brain drain in the country. Laila de Lima files motion for reconciliation consideration, former mayor of Caloacan City acquitted, and 50 police officers' criminal cases filed in the Ombudsman. Philippine government plans to exacerbate brain drain in the country. The Philippine government has done it. They finally streamlined brain drain in the country, more efficient than ever. The government has made it easy for brain drain more than ever via a scholarship fund for aspiring Filipino nurses that foreign nations vying for low-paid professional nurses of our country. I mean, how magnanimous of them to fund their nurses 
nurses through scholarships. Isn't that amazing? To think we only just gave them their COVID-19 allowances after numerous delays shows how little we think of our healthcare workers and workers in general. We only pay lip service and nothing more. We're just exacerbating the brain drain and the complications in our healthcare system. Low wages drive our nurses abroad for a low wage abroad, but at least in the context of another country that needs its nurse. Even if with prejudice, they got some wage off. What the F is happening? Professionals leaving the country. Yeah, they have better chances abroad, but you know who wouldn't? The Filipino people in its entirety. Because instead of forcing our government to govern, you know, well, freaking John Jock Rizzo would be rolling right now. We let them take and take through graft and mismanagement because we elect and qualify people to run the country only serving their vested interests. While our workers slave away in foreign nations for pasalubong, balikbayan boxes, and remittances. Just we're good in English. That's it. We're properly educated and those that are left in the country, those uneducated or those living paycheck to paycheck, victimized by the system. Those willing to stay are treated poorly. I mean, have we no shame? Have we no logic? What a mess. As long as the people choose wrong, we all shall fail. Laila de Lima files motion for reconsideration. Former Senator Laila de Lima filed a motion for reconsideration with regards to her failed bail up petition. We'll remember that last week, the Montenlupa RTC rejected the bail appeal of the former senator after six years of detention. Under agitated present over the Vigilante Davao Death Squad issue against CHR, of which the Lima was a chairwoman of, allegedly. And the fact that two out of three cases filed against her is John, the third on Gawe. Former mayor of Caloacan City acquitted. Former mayor Reco Machiavelli with those mustache circle face frame has been acquitted by the Sandigan Bayan over the case against him buying barangay officials life insurance that did not go through a public bidding to ensure competitive pricing. 50 police officers criminal cases filed for in the Ombudsman. Napalcom or National Police Commission has filed criminal cases against 50 police officers over the 990 kilogram methamphetamine or shabu hole in the Ombudsman. These are the news headlines for Wednesday 14th of June 2023. Palace declares June 28th a national holiday. Islamic Jihadist terrorist leader dead and Chinese Navy training vessel visits Manila. Palace declares June 28th a national holiday. The Malacanang Palace has declared June 28th a national holiday in observance of Eid al-Adha or Feast of Sacrifice in solidarity of our Muslim population. Islamic Jihadist terrorist leader dead. If we can recall from the first episode of the NIDW Recap Weekly Edition series, we remember the headline regarding a terror threat in Marogong Lano del Sur by the ISIS-affiliated group Daula Islamia. Yes, that was a typo. Well, in an encounter, the leader of Daula Islamia has been neutralized in an encounter against AFP in former battleground due to the Maute terrorists, now booming metro, thanks to the government, Marawi. Chinese Navy training vessel visits Manila. In this tense time, this headline would be alarming bells, but fret not, Filipino people. According to the Chinese Navy, this is but a friendly visit in order to strengthen the Filipino-Chinese relations. These are the new headlines for Thursday, 15th of June, 2023. NWRB maintains 52 cubic meters per second. And DNR urged to include waste scrappers in the WCS. Earthquake shocks the country. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake struck Calatagan, Batangas that has shocked the nation at around 10 a.m. I actually felt this and was notified by my friends while I was making a script for a larger video I'm planning to release. Something about an iceberg and Filipinos. It was a freaky experience considering it actually lasted a lot longer than what I would have expected. As far as we know, there was no major casualties, both dead or infrastructure, in the brink of collapse. NWRB maintains 52 cubic meters per second. I don't know if I've said this in the first episode of the series or it's under the May document, but the National Water Regulatory Board has agreed to maintain the water allocation of Maynilad and Manila waters from the Angat Dam, at least temporarily, from June 16 to June 30. The allocation was supposed to be cut down to 50 cubic meters per second, which alarmed bells in the entire region, but due to two storms ravaging through the country, namely Bagyambeti and Chedeng, in less than 20 days, we can assure that it ain't going away anytime soon. DNR urged to include waste scrappers in the WCS. Due to water pollution and our over-reliance to single-use plastic, the Department of Environment and National Resources has urged the inclusion of waste scrappers and independent entrepreneurial waste collectors as part of the waste collection system amid passing of the Extended Producer Responsibility Law or the EPR Law last January which aimed to implement rules and regulation for proper recovery 
treatment, recycling, and disposal of waste. Under the EPR, obliged companies are mandated to recover 20% of their plastic footprint from the year before. Although I was once a mga ngalaka and those junk shops just sells them off back to establishments where they came from. Let's make it harder for them to reach the 20% threshold to have a meaningful impact to the people and environment's welfare. The Philippine also pollutes river systems through waste mismanagement with the Pasig River being named the world's most polluting river in the entire world. And the Philippines, in its entirety, the world's worst polluting country. Go Philippines! These are the news headlines are Friday 16th of June 2023. 200,000 fertilizers from China arrived. OVP gave gays and women's organizations 150,000 pesos and judge gave up in the Lima's case. 200,000 fertilizers from China arrived. The absentee secretary of Department of Agriculture, hmm, who is it, will stay in their position until the department finds a way to keep commodity prices low. The DA secretary accepted 20,000 metric tons of fertilizers from the People's Republic of China, costing around 782 million pesos. That is said to be distributed to 100,000 farmers nationwide or more. The move was said to be an evidence of sincerity and friendship of the Philippines and China. And an additional 4 million pesos sack of rice for those affected in the disturbance near Mayon Volcano. I mean, why are y'all even there? I wonder what steps would an absentee secretary of the Department of Agriculture with a large budget could do to keep community pressure is low. OVP gave gays and women's organizations 150,000 pesos. The office of the vice president of the Philippines has given 150,000 worth of livelihood assistance for select gays and women's organizations personally handed by our vice president and Department of Education Secretary Sara Duterte. The gays is a joke. I mean, not really. The gays is just the LGBTQ+. Plus. Okay, I mean, Making a joke, though now that I've thought about it, nah, it's okay. Judge gave up in the Delimas case. The Muntinlupa Regional Trial Court judge holding Lila Delimas case has inhibited himself from presiding over the case after junking petition by Delimas camp for bail. I feel like there may be some heat coming to the judge's side, though that's but a speculation. It's just that the wording in the denial of the bail appeal was so adamant of plausible fault that this is a very suspicious time to just drop the case. Though there's also the fact that Lila's camp has issued some probing regarding his kinship with the lawyer who assisted one accused in the execution of his sworn affidavit, which was later testified by the same person to be coerced, citing possible conflict of interest, that being his brother. Guess they were hoping they would didn't find out. Though they said there's no reason there could be a conflict of interest but they don't want the judgment of the court to be questioned because of that very possibility. These are the news headlines for Saturday 17th of June 2023. Batangas mayor and two siblings arrested. BCG Mindoro Oil Spill Cleanup A Done Deal. Batangas mayor and two siblings arrested. Mayor of Batangas mayor who was arrested along with his two siblings of possession of unregistered and licensed firearms and explosives. Glad they're cracking these people. Up. I mean, the case of the Negris Oriental governor's death, the Gamo, has been talked about along with the suspicion of a congressman's involvement in the killing. The compound of the congressman has been littered with the very same thing this mayor was arrested for along with unsafe impromptu gun ranges in the area, also especially since the congressman don't even want to show up in person. PCG, Mindoro Oil Spill Cleanup, a done deal. The Philippine Coast Guard has declared that the cleanup of the mess has been finished. The cleanup was prompted after an oil tanker carrying around 800,000 liters of oil has plunged and destroyed the islands of Mindoro, causing around 9.5 billion pesos worth of environmental damage, not including government welfare, along with the cost of the cleanup. And that's the end of the news. Suggest some more topics and or corrections to news if you feel I misrepresented them in any way. Salamat sa panonood mga kabayang. Avoir me, like the video, subscribe, and follow my links in socials on Avoir Joseph that would be linked down below. This video purely serves as a summarization of news news item worthy. So yeah, susunod muli, paalam.